Welcome back to Living Free Forever. My name's Melody, and today I'm going to take you to Tampa, Florida, to take a look at Sulphur Springs neighborhood and look at some houses. At the end of the video, we will go through them inside on Zillow. Of course, feel free to use any other website you prefer to check out these houses if you're interested. I'm not selling houses, I'm just showing you the neighborhood because I know many of you are moving down to Florida, maybe the Tampa area, Southwest Florida. Since we're here, we might as well show you what we see and hopefully it'll help you a little bit in deciding which neighborhood you prefer. One of the reasons I'm making this video and not just because I like any particular area or don't like a particular area is because I'm afraid some folks may try to purchase a home from up north or wherever you're coming from California out west and you purchase a house sight unseen because you might think that the house is brand new and looks great but you have no idea about the neighborhood even the demographics uh, statistics it may not be very accurate because from one block to the next block can change considerably so it's important to come visit the house you are looking to buy the first house you see this home is pending it's been pending for quite some time 8406 North Mulberry Street Tampa Florida 165,000 and I don't think it, it really is and I'll tell you why later Four bedrooms, two bath, 15, 16 square feet. As soon as we got off the exit, we saw about three cop cars and the uh, exit looked a little run down. So I'm not so sure uh, how the neighborhood is. It just uh, seems really run down. I see some new houses mixed uh, with some old houses. And we're gonna check out this first house, a brand new house in this particular neighborhood. It must be this one right here. 8406, is that it? Yep, yep. let me uh, get a better picture of it for you. Let's, but we'll look at the inside of these houses later. Just it goes to show you that this house is yellow. This is not. But the houses you see on the internet often are um, very similar, but the prices are different depending on what you put into the house. So that's not a very accurate uh, depiction. We are looking for 1010 East Jean Street. And we're going to turn here. So here's Jean Street. And uh, let's see here. Oh, it's on Rick's side. So these two houses are nice. Let's see. Now this one is not brand new but it looks nice. I think it was remodeled. I'm pretty sure it was because I was looking at houses that were either new, newer, or even if they were older, if they were remodeled. So it looks good. Okay, the next house is not too far from here. It's about, oh, just a couple minutes away from here, but it's 29 Hamilton Heath Drive, 1923. It's renovated, 274. So that looks like a dog track, maybe. Not sure, there's more police there. What I find funny is we were in London and I expected police to be everywhere because there was um, a bombing or something happened in the tube as they call it. And I didn't see hardly any, if any, police. I'm sure they were all like undercover and cameras everywhere, but that was surprising. So I was like, where's all the police? All right, this is gonna be off of Hollywood. Christ the Servant. Either some old houses here. So here's a better view of the house. Here's the sign. If you're interested, of course, Zillow will have more information. It's a pretty house, but I think it's uh, made out of wood. You'll have to double check. But the neighborhood seems a little run down. 
some of the houses are uh, unkept. If everybody starts taking care of their own homes, then I think we all can make our neighborhoods a little bit nicer just by keeping things clean, picking things up around the house, painting if we can, if it needs to be done. Our next house is one of my favorite looking ones here. It's uh, 1701 East Hanna Avenue, 299. A little too much, but it goes to show you how much homes are in this neighborhood. This is uh, anywhere around Tampa, real close to Tampa. You're in the city limits. It's not cheap. Again, we are in Sulphur Springs and we are uh, on the east side of Route 275 and north of Tampa, the city, downtown Tampa. We are technically in Tampa, but the downtown is uh, south of here. We'll say this neighborhood's a lot nicer than the other one. So here's the house on the side. It has a really nice fence. It has a garage on the side, which I like. And if you could see on the windows, you got the little spots for the hurricane shutters, which is very important, I think, living in Florida. And we'll turn right here so you can get the front of it. I like this house. And this neighborhood's a lot nicer than the last two houses, I think. Looks a little safer. I did see a house with bars on the window, but still overall, it looked nicer and cleaner to me. Isn't that a pretty house? The next house is this one, brand new, 1420 East Frierson Avenue, 279. They try to make these new houses look like the old neighborhood. These bungalows or whatever the neighborhood is like, they try to make it fit in so it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. It's funny how neighborhoods change within a couple of blocks from being pretty nice, pretty safe looking to not so much. This house has bars on the window. I tell folks that even in the safest of neighborhoods, people get broken into. Even if you're not in a hurricane zone, I would recommend still getting those high impact windows. People can't break into those windows very easily. So you got your Walmart here, Checkers, Dollar Tree, Wendy's, Gold Motel, Value Pond, I never heard of that. So this neighborhood looks really run down as well. Here's the house, brand new. There's the phone number and the uh, realtor. But you can pick any realtor you want. You don't have to go with the one that's on the house. It's a very pretty house. It's pretty inside, but I'm not so sure about the neighborhood. Some of the houses were falling apart. It's funny because sometimes you see nice houses in between. These houses are nice right here, for example. You got a family here having a party. This is the first house that I showed you and we saw that in person it was a different color. I noticed this house plan is in several different places. I've noticed with other houses as well that I've seen on Zillow, they're putting the same plan in different locations across Tampa Bay Area, throughout the whole Tampa Bay Area, Tampa, Clearwater, St. Petersburg. I really don't think it's 165. If I had a guess, I could be wrong. But I think because, it, look at here, let me scroll down. They're trying to make the neighborhoods better by having owner occupants only. They feel that people who own their own homes will take care of it better than renters. 
I know many of you are renters. I'm a renter at this point, and we take care of the property that we're in uh, without a problem, but many don't. Check out Urban 360 Tampa, and it'll explain to you what they're trying to do by offering lower uh, cost homes and where they will come up, the city will come up with 20% down, up to 20% down. So you might qualify. I know they want you to take classes, financial classes, classes on how a mortgage works and all that. It's for first-time home buyers or somebody who hasn't had a loan in the last three years. Of course, they want you to live in it in order to receive that uh, 20%, up to 20% down assistance. It's been pending since December 3rd. I'm not sure if it's because this type of assistant takes a while or is it because the government's closed down. I can't say for sure. Let me click on this map so you know where we were today. In the last video, we were in Northport, just in a whole different county south of here, in Sarasota County. We're in uh, Tampa area. This is Tampa, but you have different neighborhoods. We were here last time, Seminole Heights, old Seminole Heights on this side. And today we were in Sulphur Springs, mostly in this area right here. And you have many older houses with newer houses being built in here. Just so you know, the college is right up here, University of South Florida. There's a really nice museum right here called MOSI, M-O-S-I, or Museum of Science and Industry. You have Adventure Island, Bush Gardens. You have a lot going on here. I don't know if the homes along Hillsborough River flood or not. You would have to check. And you can see downtown's here, so you can take a straight shot to get to downtown, river walk, all the things that a downtown has to offer. So let's just look real quick at this house. That's the backyard. I noticed in these neighborhoods, I mentioned it before, that I see these air conditioners like locked down. So I don't know if it's because it's maybe not as safe of a neighborhood as it should be, or if they're tying them down for hurricane reasons, but I've not seen that in other um, towns or areas. So this is a really nice house. Very simple, basic, all tile, just the way I like it. I have no problem with this house at all. Uh, and you could build uh, your house anywhere. You could buy land if you want down here and then have a builder build your house if you prefer. This doesn't have granite, which is fine. Granite costs more, so if you're looking to keep the price down. Again, having carpet can be not so good in Florida with the sand blowing around the way it does. So you see it's a simple house. You could change the color, paint it, whatever. Put some carpets down if you want. If you feel like it'll warm up the place. But it's a very nice house. And again, please, please, I beg of you to see the house in person before buying anything. Here's another house. Three bedroom, three bath, 1597 square feet. I think that's a nice size. Built 1923, so this house has been uh, remodeled. And the reason I show you houses that are brand new is so when you look at whole houses that are older, you could decide is it worth buying older, not really much less than a brand new house. Even if a house has been totally remodeled, you know, there might have been termite damage, there might be mold, there might be asbestos, there might be lead. There's a lot of things in older houses that you need to look out for, and I recommend if that's what you're looking for is to do your research and google what could be in an older house and what years like Chinese drywall that was a big problem in Florida sometimes you think well I'll just you know remove asbestos myself you cannot do that they won't let you do it if you do it you know you, you can get in trouble you need permits and if you do things without permits and you try to go sell your house well you'll, you'll pay the piper later Asbestos is not something to mess around with. That's how my father uh, died. So you don't want to be messing with asbestos. It can kill you. Here we go, 289 in November. December went to 279. They dropped it again in January, 274. If it doesn't sell, well, they'll just keep lowering the price until it does. Well, this house has been around for a long time. But this is a pretty looking house. Let's just go through. Uh, it has the wood floors. It's very pretty. It's been totally remodeled. And you can ask the seller, you know, what else has been done? Does it have a new roof? Does it have air conditioning? These are the big things I would worry about if you were buying an older house thinking you're saving yourself money. Make sure there's a new roof or newer because after a certain amount of years, 
your bank is going to tell you we're going to drop you or put a new roof on. And then you got to come up with seven to $12,000 to put a new roof on, depending on how big your house is and what quality of a roof you put on. And then you have air conditioning. Air conditioning could be anywhere between eight and $12,000, depending on how big your house is and the quality of your air conditioning a unit. And they don't last a very long time in Florida, 10 to 15 years on average. Same with septic tank. That could be between six and $10,000 to replace. Uh, I think these houses are mostly city, so you have sewer and uh, city water, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you're buying an older house with septic tank, you know, find out if they ever replaced it. And the thing is, I know that you will have an inspector, but that's going to be three, $400 to have a house inspected. So if you know this ahead of time, you just can assume, even if it passes an inspection, just assume that you may have to put a new septic tank in if the house is 15 years old or older. Maybe you get lucky and it lasts longer. So just be prepared. One of the good things about older houses is that you can fix things as you go. If you can't afford a loan on a house, you can fix things as you go and hopefully do some of it yourself. Just make sure you get permits if you're supposed to get them. So when you go sell the house, you're not running into some trouble or fines or something like that. This is a brand new block house. And what I like about uh, many of these new houses is they try to make it fit into the neighborhoods. It looks like a 1913, 1920 house, but it's brand new without the 1920 problem <laughs> uh, of older homes. So yeah, that's a pretty house. I really like this one. And I think this one was in one of the better neighborhoods that I showed you today. So it changes from block to block. It's pretty amazing. So even, like I've been telling you to look at citydata.com to look at statistics, but even within that zip code from block to block, a neighborhood can change. And I don't normally see that except for like in cities. I've seen that across the country. Within cities, within blocks in a city, it could change. But isn't this a pretty house? I like this house quite a bit. I'd, I'd build this house somewhere. So there you have it. I think I have a couple more to show you. And this I like too, that it was on the side. We went around this uh, house, around the block, and I showed you the side. I kind of like that it's on the side and not right in the front. It just makes the front of the house look prettier. And it has a nice fenced yard, some nice old trees. Very nice. This house I really love too, but I felt the block that it was on was not a very nice looking block. What's nice about this area, it's near all the shopping and the airport, and it's real close to downtown, very close to the college and all the parks like Bush Gardens, a zoo. So let's take a look at the pictures here. Fenced in yard, no patio or anything, but you could either add it later or maybe you just don't need one. Plenty of uh, yard to let the dogs and kids run, put a garden in. It's real pretty. Reminds me of the older houses. I like the older style. It's very um, unique. Some of the new houses all look the same. So there you have it. And we'll go on to, I have a couple more houses to show you. I'm not sure what this is. It's kind of strange that there's glass doors into a bedroom. If this is a bedroom, because there's a bathtub over here. I don't know what room this would be. I thought it was a little strange. I'm assuming it's a bedroom, but with glass doors. I've never seen that before. I think this was the last house we saw, but then I'm going to show you something else real quick. Four bedrooms, two baths. It sure is nice to have that fourth bedroom, either to turn it into an office or if you have guests who come to visit you, which often is the case if you're coming from out of state and you're moving here. 1948, so it was remodeled. Oh, here we go. Block, so it's block and wood frame. So that's where you could find it, just construction materials. And I was just telling you, folks, in another video that I don't see basements in Florida. And I did find one house that said it had a basement, but they didn't show pictures of the basement. It was in Temple Terrace. We haven't been there yet. Maybe it was 3,000 square feet. It was big. So that was interesting because I did not think we had any basements here. But I guess we do. So wood floors. And I found out, too, some of these pictures and these brand new houses... They look like real furniture, but it's just, um, I guess, some kind of software where they just put in 
the uh, furniture so it looks like it's staged. So I think it's kind of cool they could do that without actually putting furniture in the house. Of course, this house has real furniture. So it's a beautiful house. Nice size, nice yard. You would just, again, have to find out what they've done to, to fix it over the years. The other thing, too, is the older, older houses, they may not have central air conditioning. This has power electric to it, so it's great for those of you who have hobbies like woodworking. This is closer to the university and the science museum. I personally would like to see this neighborhood again myself. I've only been like on the main road when I went to the museum and to the university. But this is 195000 This is probably more up your alley uh, for many of you. It's under 200000 1356 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths. And what's nice is they built a brand new Publix right on the campus uh, of the university. So that's real close by. This is 1979. You could see they listed it at 205 in December and then dropped it 200 and now it's at 195. It's a very nice house. 1976. It's older, but if they replace the roof and the air conditioning and all that, it might be okay. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.